and welcome back to GWG. My name is Damian Darkside, and we're playing Minecraft. Today we are going to be making some food on Cooking with Damian for no reason. And today let's see what we can do with calamari. I like calamari. The one thing about moving to BC was I get a lot more seafood in my diet. So having calamari and like sushi all the time is just, it's just so nice. And what do we do? I need bakeware for that, I think. Yeah, let's get that down. We are cooking. Now, I recently did an episode, but I really, really did not like the way it came out. It, I was all over the place. I was disorganized. So I decided to scrap it. So what I did was uh, during the episode, like I didn't like anything with the episode really. I'm gonna have to cook again. That didn't heal up much. I uh, I added a roof and that nice little like notch right there to like look outside. And like I said, it was one of those, you know, 16, 18 by 18 places where you just build. And I don't know what to do with this. And it just didn't, it goes to show that if you just aren't in the mood for building and you just are trying to force episodes out on YouTube, it's, it's just not going to work out, guys. So I would highly recommend if you, if you do a YouTube channel, don't do this stuff if you aren't in the mindset. And I was not in the mindset yesterday. I was really anxious because uh, yesterday was the Canadian election. And if you don't know for some reason, I am Canadian. And I live in British Columbia. Like I just said, I came here for the sushi and the salmon and the terra. And, you know, I was just really... I was, I was like a lot of Canadians over the past 10 years. I've been really upset at our Prime Minister. Now... Granted, he isn't like the British Prime Minister where everybody suspects him of, you know, having sex with a pig or whatever is happening over there. Like, geez, guys, get your shit together. But, you know, he's done a lot of things that I'm just not particularly proud of. Like, you know, everybody's got their own grievances against him. Personally, in mine, where I, I don't like how he's been muzzling scientists and, uh, you know, been blowing out Canada's reputation as leaders of the, of the you know, environment and economy. And I also don't like how he's been treating uh, our veterans, so I voted him out, and Trudeau got in. And Americans, if you still thought that Pierre Elliott Trudeau was our Prime Minister, well, you're half right, his son is going to be. You see, with Canada, I, I'm not exactly sure how the United States Parliamentary works, or Senate, your, your government, we call it parliament, parliament even though it we call it a government too, but I'm not really sh like 100% down on how you guys do your thing. But with Canada, what we do is uh, we elect our members of parliament. So in each area, we have uh, you know just people who want to represent each section. If you look up Canada, do it. Here's a great way to explain it. It's like as if you divided the 50 states up into even smaller areas, and then you each selected a member of who is going to represent that area based on uh, their party. And then when you're done that, whoever has the most is then, they have a huge government party, and then, the gov and then everybody who's in the government decides who's going to be the next prime minister, which in I think every single case, or for you guys president, which in every case is the leading party, and we have the leading party as liberals. And unlike every other conservative uh, whack job out there who's like, oh, those gosh darn libtards, our liberals are not far left. Our liberals are central left. So if you think of like a line, uh, the Republicans would be far right, the Democrats would be far left, and in the center you have people who, you know, will take a little bit of what the each party is saying and, you know, apply it that way. So they'll go a little bit towards social security and they'll go a little bit towards corporations. And it's a nice balance, I personally think. It's, uh, I voted liberal. So I'm the reason why Canada is doomed. But it, it's, you know, it's a different system and I really like it. And uh, we're going to have electoral, uh, electoral reform because our system is slightly flawed. And I don't know how to properly explain it. Uh, if you look at the first past the post system and its flaws, you'll be able to see what it, uh, a lot of people are talking about. But, you know, yesterday, I, I just, I wasn't feeling the video. Now I forgot where we're going with this. So anyways, oh yeah, so we elect the MPs and then the, the members of parliament and to represent the Canadian people. 
and then they choose who's the prime minister, which I said would be the leader of the party, which we just had Stephen Harper, who was completely awful. Then we have other people who, uh, crap, his name, that the, we have the New Democratic Party, which would be the far left, the Democrats. Uh, for, then we have the conservatives, the Republicans, but not as insane. And then liberals, which are kind of in the between. So, yeah, we elected him. So we elected every we elected a li liberal majority government. So, like I said, if you divide them all up, and each person who's elected has a seat, and there's a certain amount of seats that you are allowed to have or that you get, and based on how many seats are elected, that's how many people are there. So the majority of the seats were liberal. So it's just like as if. See, I don't know enough about uh, American politics. I should have done a quick little blip of research. But pretty much, Trudeau will be our president. And the people who are running the government will be mostly liberal. So it's as if there's a full Democratic part, uh, full Democrat government with a Democrat leader. And the Senate or the House of whatever you guys have is all Democrats. Which, you know, is good for the thing. But man... You, like, go on Facebook and you should see what uh, people who support, uh, people who support, what you would call it, the conservatives, aka Republicans, Free Americans, they are, they're acting like it's doomsday and they can't spell. You ever notice that Republicans, when they get really insane, they just, they can't spell? I judge how good the party is based upon how well the spelling is of everybody. And wow, they... They're acting as if, like, Satan himself. They're acting pretty much like all Republicans were when Obama was elected into the office. Well, oh, there goes the country! And it's just, like, it's crazy insane. So I'm going to start doing Batania. <laughs> that is our transfer sentence. I'm going to be, like, I'm happy who's the Prime Minister. And so uh, hopefully we'll get uh, more years of actual change. So with Batania, we harness... The power of flowers to do our bidding and to change the world. So, we have the Obama slash Trudeau mod. <laughs> enough politics, enough politics. We gotta we got, we got play Minecraft. So, with this, since we have already have our farm here and uh, we've got this house here, which I said I'm going to eventually fix up. But we're going to have this Batania themed. So, all around this house, we're going to have flowers. And we have to harness the power of nature to do what we want it to do. And flowers, uh, these flowers generate mana, or mana, depending on how you do it. So, you know, it's like magic and magics. You know, people spell it and pronounce it different. And you know you play Minecraft when you feed your Minecraft guy better than you do. So I'm going to grab something to eat. Just a quick second, I'm starving. I just realized it. Got off of school and immediately started recording. This is so professional. I'll be right back and we'll start Patania. Alright, I've nommed a bit, and that's not where I wanted you. <laughs> I've nommed a bit, and I got my, uh... I, I sorted a couple of Batania things. I grabbed all the flowers out of the chest, and I put them into this chest. Or I'm putting them... Oh, they all moved to this chest when I put the iron chests on. So, uh, it's a good thing I kept all these flowers the entire time. It really, really helped. I will save one of you. The reason for that is so I can designate this as a Batania chest. That does not fit. I don't care. So, reason why I'm keeping this here instead of into the other building is because I need everything that's inside here. Now, first, we need to make ourselves a... Because uh, I remember some of this. There we are. I need to make ourselves a Pedopocrathy. So, I know what I'm going to be building in a bit. So, I'm going to use the Mystical Pink Flower in order to... Give us the thing we with the apocryphy we do it. Let's just go nuts. Do it. Let's go nuts for donuts. Let's let's just let's just go insane here. You grab just way too much. Probably did too many. No, there we go. Pop that here. We're having six of these sons of bitches. We are just going to just do six of them, and we'll do it near here. Yeah. See, if we do it near here, we still have like the water here. And we could still just do our cool thing. So, here, let's. You know what? No, I don't like that. I want to have this still here. And let's dig out one from here. And here. And boom, boom, boom. I said boom, boom, boom. 
And let's just get these filled up with water. Reason why we need water is we need seeds, and the whole point of this mod, mob, mod, is mixing things together too to create these things. So we need pure daisies, and we need a lot of white petals. And this is how we get our first little bits here. So we just grab a whole bunch of these. One, two, three, four. I think it's four for each one. The flower pouch, whatever, whatever. Let's go backwards. Wait, no. There we go. So I need four for each one. So one, two, three. I need 12. There we go. 24. And the only thing else I need apart from these are seeds. Because you can't have flowers unless you have seeds. And I've got six. Okay. We'll be fine for seeds. And I do have a bunch of stone still, correct? Good. And all those logs we'll be having earlier, that will be really beneficial. So I need pure logs. So I just need to do this. One, two, three, four, and and there we go. I have myself a pure daisy, and now I need six of them. All right, and now I have pure daisies. What color do you want to be? So the good thing about these is that they change wood and wood logs and stone into the Batania counterparts, which would be living rock and living wood. And the reason why we need our living, I'm really sure it's living wood or live wood or something like that. I'm really sure it's living wood, and the uh, Twilight Forest is live wood. Do you know what? I'm going to keep these. I'm going to put them over in here. We're going to need those seeds. I'm going to need that bucket. So I need a whole bunch of cobblestone. And we'll do cobblestone first. Or just stone stone first. And all we need to do is, at the same level of the flower, is just smack down a whole bunch of stone. You might have just seen a couple particle effects off of here. And that is the mod working. We want these flowers to work. And we will see how they change. Just a couple of seconds. It is super pretty though. Just waiting for this. So all these cool effects come off. Come on, I only have so much time in the episode. This is why you create a lot of these flowers too, so you don't have to worry about just, when are these gonna change? I think it takes 30 seconds. There we go. Living rock. And it does it in the order you place it, obviously, because it's all time-based. Come on. And then you should just do the rest. Do, 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 do. All right, and we need these for other recipes, but also we need living wood. And the good part is it doesn't matter which way the wood's facing, it'll all go at the end. Come on. There we go. Thank you. I should really make an axe. All right, now we just gotta wait for this to do its thing. And there we go. It is living wood. Okay, I was correct. Come on. I stalled here for a sec there because I accidentally had that extra piece. Awesome, and now I just realized I need an axe because I've got to chop all this down. I'll be back in a sec. All right, now in these ones, you can still make sticks. Like you can make living wood planks and they're pretty good. They're really dark. But in order to make the actual twigs, you need to use actual, like the full living wood, which is weird how you have to use these to, yeah, it's weird. Anyways. So that's how you make the twigs, and this is how you make a wand of the forest. And considering the liberal win in B in uh, Canada, I made a red one. Yay! So next step, we need something to collect our mana in. So we need you can't just generate mana without doing any of the actual flower stuff. So let's get some. Uh, we have a diluted mana pool, which isn't the best. So we need to make a second one which is also a diluted mana pool. And now we need something to actually have mana in. For this, we will need, not the bloom, we need day bloom. Don't know what the motif is. But day bloom, so we need two yellow petals, one light blue petal, and one orange petal. And I'm gonna create a whole whack of them because I have a system already set up that I know what I'm gonna do. So we need day bloom, which uses the power of the sun to very slowly do its thing. And night, I thought it was night bloom. Spawn nightmare. Uh oh. But uh, we need night bloom, which uses black petals and gray petals. Oh, what, what are you? Black trap hole nightmare, huh? And then we also need. 
I I like how this has the real one and then the cool funny one. In this one, so the other one uses Knight. In this one, after you use some mana, uses the uh, it uses a water supply in order to generate mana. So we gotta do it that way. But I'm gonna do a setup here and I'm gonna create a whole bunch of these flowers. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll just show you step by step how I do these things. Okay? Alright, I'm gonna pause it. Why am I talking about pausing? I'm just gonna pause it. Do I'm not gonna pause it. We'll do this next time on GWG where we'll have uh, mana generation and we'll start up a nice basic summary of what we need to do in order to get further in the Batanian mod. And with all the nice flowers we'll have, the whole area will look nice and pretty. And you guys have yourself a fantastic day. Thank you for watching GWG. And my name is Damien Darkside, and I will see you later. Bye.